Everybody. Thanks for hanging with Zane in. I've been debating what I want my channel to be. I haven't done any bike videos because it is smoldering hot in Southern California right now. This is the coolest it's been in about three weeks and it's 95 degrees outside. Things are gonna be okay. But also I don't have many options in terms of where I go. I don't have a vehicle that I could carry my bike to trails at with. So everything I do has to be within 30 miles of my house, which there are some options, but uh, just not too much content I'm able to do. Not until I get a truck and a good uh, good rack for it. I decided I'm gonna start doing some backpacking videos. I'm really fat and out of shape, so I figure this will help me get into better shape. I have my whole backpacking set up, and uh, I'm gonna go through some of it with you. And uh, I need to practice putting up this tent I bought. I've never. I've never put this tent up, so I want to set my tent up and uh, see how it all works. I'm also meeting my brother, BrainPod, because he has the same tent and he's going to set up his tent over here at the park as well. What's up, brother? All right, so BrainPod, uh, what makes you interested in this outdoor type of living? The, they put me on the spot there. Yep. The, the simplicity of it. Simplicity? Yes. Okay. I see you got the UV shorts too, huh? That's right. Look at this guy all decked out. <laughs> yes. So what tent do you have here? This is the One Tigress Bushcraft Bungalow 2.0. Pack to pack. Sorry to interrupt the out in the field review of all the gear in the backpack. However, all the gear in the backpack was framed like this. Uh, it was upside down. This thing's great. That's right. I'm an idiot. 
So now I am going to redo the review of all the gear in my pack, in my bedroom, on my bed. Okay, here's the pack. Now on this, I'm gonna go over the outside first and then we'll get to the inside. Smart Water 1.5 liter bottles with the sport head. Then on the top here, I have these foam pads to rest on, really light. Then here on the top is where I'm gonna keep all my electronics. I have my vlog set right over here before. Got a power bank. I got my trekking poles here. Oh man, that light is probably too bright. Let's uh, turn it off. Yeah, that's better. All right, for the rest of the video, we're gonna do it this way. So I got the Cascade mountaintop trekking poles. Really high quality trekking pole. Let's go over the side pockets. A Mora knife right here. And then these side pockets. I got the C-Knock bladder. The Sawyer squeeze. Here I got some fire starting material. I got the endless wick. This thing is amazing. Just light it and it'll keep going. You just snuff it out by pulling this. Got a ferro rod. Got a mini lighter. Then I got some stormproof matches. Then I got some really nice leather gloves. These leather glo gloves have gone with me on a lot of adventures, including the Boulder Outdoor Survival School. Could handle fire logs and everything with them. I love these things. And then I got a buff. In the other pocket here, we got the, the NU25 Nightcore. This thing is super lightweight, really, really good. Really, really lightweight. I, I'm, I'm loving this thing so far. It's got white light, gets really bright. It's got the red light for camp. I, I'm loving this thing. And then it's a USB charge. Next, I got the Sunto MC2 Compass. This thing's got a mirror for uh, emergencies. You basically align it and look through there to see where you want to go to get an azimuth. This thing is one of the nicest compasses there is. Next in this pocket is this right here. This right here is the Vulcan utensil set. It's got the spoon, the fork, and the knife. It's uh, titanium. This right here on the back is a bottle opener. It's got a lightweight carrying case too. This thing basically weighs nothing. Looking forward to using that. Next thing in here is a sewing kit. It's got the a thimble, it's got needles, safety pins, extra buttons, uh, thread, everything you'd need to uh, patch up your, your gear. Next thing we got here and this is my trowel. Here's a trowel, there we go, very lightweight, and in here you could put stuff, you could store stuff in the handle. Also, I got Porto wipes. They're basically compressed tissue paper, and they fold out to be pretty big actually, they're really good. So I got the trowel, extra paper in the handle, I also do carry uh, regular toilet paper with me as well. That is it for the outside pockets. Now on this backpack, it actually has two compartments. You can undo a liner in here to make it one large pocket, but I have it separated into two right now. The bottom pocket, I got my pillow, my sleeping mat, and then the best sleeping bag I've found in quite a while, the Corinthia. It's, uh, I believe a Swedish company makes this. It, I, I like it a lot, it's, it's a mummy style. I believe it's 20 degree. And it has a zip up in the middle, which I really like, and also venting zippers. But really quality, very compact, breaks down really nicely. Okay, that's it for this bottom pocket. Let's get to the top. I have a rain jacket, and also a rain cover for the backpack is also stored in here. We're just gonna keep that shut. Right here, I basically have uh, toiletries and first aid and this uh, dry bag. These are free Laxi dry bags. In this dry bag I have my food. This is my cook set. It's a stainless steel one. I am gonna get a titanium one eventually, but I'm, I might as well get some use out of this. It's, it's not really that heavy. It's a nice little setup. You can hang it over the fire if you want to. It's got the handles on the side. And this is the Lixada which I really do like this. And inside, 
some jet boil fuel. And then here is my, my stove. I got the jet boil. Yeah, you guys know how these things work, you've seen these. Self lighting. And then I also keep a mini, mini big lighter in here with it. All right. Then I got my dry bag with my clothes in here. I have a merino wool thermal setup. Basically, these are the, the pants and the shirt. Extra pair of socks, darn tough. I also got the beanie. And that's actually all that's in this right now and the clothes that I'm wearing. I am waiting for a down jacket to come in the mail. And a raincoat and rain pants. And then I got the one tiger's tent that I put up earlier in the video. Oh, I also have some CMI tarred twisted nylon rope. This is great for bushcrafting, but I, I have this instead of paracord. It's much, much lighter. If I ever need any cord, I got plenty right here. And this is 40 yards worth. All right, that is everything in my Martin Top 60 liter backpacking backpack. It has a built-in frame and it's not an ultralight backpack. This backpack is 4.4 pounds, so it's not that bad, but it's not the lightest ultralight backpack you're gonna find. Nice. All right, let's get back to in the field. All right, so I did buy a little bit more clothing for this trip or for backpacking. I got a, uh, a Meyer sun hoodie, which is really nice, really comfortable, breathes really well. It also dries really fast. I also got some new trail runners. It's the uh, Peregrine 12 from, I'm gonna mispronounce this, Saucony? Really nice trail runners. And then, darn tough socks. Anyways, everything is uh, linked in the description. So if you wanna help support the channel and I'll bring you more content on the more regular, please uh, shop through those links. And now I'm just gonna relax here a little bit, eat a banana, pack it all up and take off. <coughs> Nice little setup, dude. Got my cooking stuff, my chair, sleeping area. It's definitely a nice little setup. I wasn't looking at you when you said that. You want to say it again? You'll see my bag video really soon. Check out the Derp project. Derp gear and sorry, I said that all wrong. <laughs> and that's all you get. <laughs> Got <laughs> So I think that's gonna end this video, but uh, you'll be seeing Braypod in the future. I'm gonna try to convince him to actually uh, get out there and do some adventures and uh, do some backpacking. We'll do some camping. And uh, we're both kind of characters. So see you in the future. Oh my god, are you done packing up yet? Jeez, damn car campers.